So at the very least, this movie did for me what the first one failed to do. It made me want to go back and play Maximum Carnage and Separation Anxiety on my Super Nintendo. got that thing. Super Nintendo, albeit a handheld version of Super Nintendo. It's whatever, it's still a Super Nintendo. Venom, Let There Be Carnage is the sequel to 2018's Venom, a movie I didn't like all that much. Let There Be Carnage sees Venom going up against Cletus Cassidy, somebody who has turned into Carnage, and now Carnage and Venom are going to fight. So honestly, guys, I am not a huge fan of 2018's Venom. That movie just was a complete mess across the board. It was one of my least favorite movies of 2018. So to say I had no expectations going into Venom 2 is an understatement. The trailers didn't do it for me. While the switch in directors was nice, and Andy Serkis is a way better director than Ruben Fleischer, who directed the first one, I still had no faith that they were gonna get this done. This is a dumb movie. A really dumb movie. Like, it's stupid. I lost IQ points watching Venom Let There Be Carnage. But I'm not gonna lie and say there is a bit of escapism value and entertainment value in it for its entire 90 minute runtime. Yeah, it's a very short movie. It's actually a very well paced movie. It feels very brisk. There's constantly something happening in the movie. This 97 minute movie literally feels like it's 20 minutes. Thing is, is that this movie does what the first First one thought it was doing and failed to do. The first one thought it was trying to be a late 90s, early 2000s comic book movie, but instead was a really piss poor 2018 comic book movie with shitty CGI and took itself way too seriously. This movie is all about just being pure escapism entertainment. You can turn your brain off because there is literally no plot. If I were to do a spoiler review for Venom Let There Be Carnage, I have no idea what, the, what, what I would talk about. There's no plot for this movie whatsoever. The entire plot is just Cletus Cassidy becomes Carnage and Carnage and Venom fight. That's the plot of the movie. This movie knows exactly what it is. It knows that it is a late 90s, early 2000s comic book movie and it occupies that space. It never takes itself seriously. It is one of the cheesiest things I have seen all year. But if a movie knows what it is, I'll probably enjoy it for the most part and surprisingly I did find this movie enjoyable compared to how much I hated the first one. Oh, I don't even want to talk about the first one. Acting is so over the top and ham-fisted. It's so, it's, it's great. Woody Harrelson was up for the assignment. Naomi Harris as Shriek was totally up for the assignment. Tom Hardy was up for the assignment. Michelle Williams was in a completely different movie. Andy Serkis at least had a flair. He at least had a style where I could differentiate this movie from the first one. The directing style of the first one was so generic. Andy Serkis, at least I could tell he had a vision and at least I could tell that it was his movie and it was his style. He touched up the CGI a lot and the last half hour is going to be almost every comic book fan's dream and everybody is going to freak out over the mid credit scene in this. I'm not gonna spoil it here, but it did what I wanted the first Venom movie to do. It occupies the space of an early 2000s comic book movie instead of masquerading as one and not being one and taking itself too seriously. This is a cheesy movie. It is a dumb movie. It's something that you don't even have to think about. You'll get more dumb as you watch it because there's legitimately no plot, no character development whatsoever. It's just one of those mindless comic book movies where you can turn your brain off, absorb what you're taking in for 90 minutes, and just escape into this movie, and maybe you'll be entertained. I'm gonna say Venom Let There Be Carnage is enjoyable with half a bucket of popcorn. So guys, what did you think of Venom Let There Be Carnage? Drop me some feedback in the comment section below. I'll leave my link to my website in the description below as well. You are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you at the movies somewhere.